Hello everybody and welcome to northeastwarms.com So it's, uh, I know I miss you guys, it's a lot of time I don't post anything but I had a lot of things going on I didn't really have the time and the mind to make, uh, to make videos and I uh, did uh, again a lot of changes I work a lot on the marketing my product, I have a new stores that are actually selling my product and I reorganized for the fourth, fifth <laughs> time all the spaces here on the Wormery and uh, today we will talk about how to build the perfect nursery uh, tray. Actually this is a big uh, bin, okay? Stay tuned. Alright, so I had a problem with all these uh, babies and the uh, cocoon. The problem was that uh, uh, they are doing very well. My reproduction bin with the wormy show and the bedding I found, uh, they are working together amazing and the, 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 the worms are going fat, big and they are breathing like crazy. So I had a lot of cocoon and the, and the little baby newborns, uh, really a lot. So uh, uh, how in the past I used it to do the nursery. So I did the, like, you know, the tray I used for reproduction bin. Uh, bin. They, use a, they uh, sell the big one. So I used to have this big one, so all the uh, leftover out of, uh, of the, the bigger uh, holes on, the, on, the, on my sifter, let me go check out the video on the sifter, so I, I, I explained very well how these things work. So everything I just dump in this big, uh, um, big beans, big uh, like mortar tray, and uh, with uh, some new bedding, of course, uh, food and everything, and uh, they was uh, going amazing. But at certain point, I had uh, too many of this, for the European and for the Red Uyghurs, I had too many. So for me, uh, take care of uh, like six, or five, uh, eight, or whatever they were uh, of this huge tray. Uh, th there was a lot, really a lot of job. It was unsustainable at a certain point. So I had to think about uh, um, do something uh, that was more manageable for me. So again, work uh, smarter and not harder. So I didn't sleep for like two days and they come out with this project. So this project actually is, a, is a, I think it will work very, very, very well. So I just made that table, i show you. One second. So. I just made uh, like the base for a table, you see? So, always with the wheels because I want to be able to move everything very fast, okay? So, I made this table, very, very, very easy, nothing crazy. I got uh, this just a four by four and I just make, you know, the frame uh, and I will put the base on the top. Uh, so this uh, is not a continuous flow bin, so they have like solid base. Okay, and uh, just the side. I have one ready I, for the ready wiggler. I made the, the, um, in the last week. I had no time to finish this one for the European Night Clover, but we will finish together. So, all right. I will show you the finished one. This is the finished one. I like very much the, the high because I don't have to, to bend, you know, and also I have a space underneath when I, where I can, I, I can put stuff. So what I did, on the base, I will show you on the one that I'm building now. On the base, uh, I put uh, the tarp. So um, everything will be not uh, contact directly with uh, the, this kind of wood that uh, I don't like very much for this reason. So the base, uh, I put a tarp. So I make a divisory, all right? So that I can take out any time I want it. Where on one side, there will be the juvenile. And uh, um, yeah, and a little, you know, bigger. Uh, worms. This side, there will be only cocoons uh, and uh, newborn. So every time when uh, they develop, they will become adult. I will take out, sift everything, you know, and put everything back again after sift. I will show you inside, okay, the worms that are inside. Just give me a second. Okay, so this is the uh, the side with the, the, uh, the more uh, um, grown worms. So there are a bunch of juvenile here. Some adult that meanwhile is uh, grown, but it's okay. So I developed this, uh, this, um, this way to work where at this point I don't care to separate adult and, uh, 
and the, and, and, and the youngster and the, you know juveniles uh, every time they grow because it's uh, really time consuming so I will uh, <coughs> in, uh, every two months I will sift everything here I will put the adult in the reproduction tray and the cocoons as baby again back Okay, so let me you see. Actually, I I put together these things the last week, so I put back the I put in the trays with the the, um, the, the worms and the, and the, the 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 juvenile and a lot of food. I did the new beddings and everything. Some of old beddings put here inside. So let's go to check her out. I put some pumpkin. This is pumpkin's moment. Everybody have pumpkins here. So you see. There are uh, all these are all juvenile, so we will let them work. Yeah, bunch of uh, juveniles. Some that you see, they didn't have a the reproductor. Yeah. So let's see one uh, like semi-adult maybe. Yeah, but it's uh, still a juvenile. You have not developed uh, the sexual. Yeah, you see. All right. So uh, now I want to check it down because on the bottom I put a bunch of new bedding, and I want to see what is happening actually on the bottom with all this new bedding I put. Yeah, how I predict uh, the new bedding? It's full of little July ones. Yeah, it's absolutely full. Let me check this side. The new bedding on the bar. Yeah, look. And a bunch of ones. So it's don't look because, uh, uh, of course, they are all juvenile and baby. But this side, okay, it's a longer total around the five, um, five feet and off. Yeah, it's a long five feet and a half and a uh, uh, large uh, two feet and deep, uh, like one feet and one third, something like that. I didn't want to do too deep, this stuff. So, because this is a high soup, I, I, I want that to be, be fast. Okay, two months, it can look now that it's not fast, but it's fast, believe me. So every two months, just uh, take out everything, sift everything, everything go through. The, the smaller whole sides it's casting, all the rest not casting, go back here. That's pretty easy for me and manageable, okay? So this thing is going great, all right. So let me cover and we move to the cocoon side. One second. So this is the cocoon side. Let me check out again. This is the first time I'm checking after one week. I'm checking with you guys. All right, let's see. Yeah, I see a lot of uh, baby, they are moving on the surface. But uh, you see there are less movement here because uh, that, I don't know if you can see from the, the camera, but from here, from, from you know, close, I see a, a tons, thousand of uh, baby, 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 tiny worms. They are moving and uh, a, a lot of cocoons too. So I, there are some more grown worm. I'm okay with that. So I put some pumpkins here too. Let me see what we have on the bottom of the pumpkins. Oh, we don't have almost nothing on the bottom of the pumpkin. Just a little juvenile worms. Yeah, just a little juvenile worms. But again, because this part is uh, almost all cocoon and babies so let me see this other pumpkin yeah there are very very little there are some juveniles but there are very very little let me check on the bottom with the f all the fresh baby yes okay on the bottom there are uh, some juveniles, but um, my idea, and I'm pretty sure that this will happen in like a less than one month, this thing will explode of worms. So this will become the juvenile one, 
And this one, the other side, will become an adult where I harvest everything. So I will put the new cocoons to the other side. So I don't know if it, they make sense. So the one with the cocoon in two months, in one month, become the juvenile one. The one with the juvenile, in two months, will become with the one with the adult. They probably delay more cocoon. So, and I will do, I will ex interchange in some way. Yeah, there are some juvenile here. They may be, you know, they were mixed with the cocoon and other stuff that they passed through. Yeah, this is all the new bedding that they were was, was still already casting after one week mix, and then there are a bunch of worms here. Yeah, okay. So, so this is the final product. Let me check this. Things we already checked it actually. Okay, so this is the final uh, bean for the reproduction. This is of course I can take out if I want to, but uh, for now I'm uh, I won't really take separated. But if one day I'm gonna just do one big things, you know, I will, uh, I, will I can take out this stuff. So this this the visory here. The bedding is uh, the same. It's uh, the bedding, the new one, the new formula that I found out that work amazing is a uh, uh, pit moss, uh, cardboard, shredded uh, cardboard, a bunch of shredded cardboard. It's uh, almost half and half in volume between uh, pit moss and the cardboard. My uh, one show, um, um, a very, very generous handful uh, uh, of, uh, uh, of limestone. And uh, that's it. This is the bedding, the ones uh, lava, and also you see how fluffy it is. Because when I was using, see, and you know, separated the worm, it's very, very easy right now with the, the light method separation. Um, yeah, when I used compost, there was like stones inside, there was like big pieces, uh, and and it, it was uh, really not uh, um, not easy for me. I needed that, that everything is really easy. So let me cover this stuff, and uh, the, we will go to the new things that I am uh, building. So I show you how I build this stuff. Okay, so this is the, the base, all right? Now I will uh, explain you what I'm doing. There are just a little uh, uh, problem, if you want to call it a problem, but it's not a problem, that when I made the frame, you see, I put the, the side part on the external part. So that means uh, he added to the total length, two inch from this side and two inch from the other side. So I say that it was five and a half, but uh, uh, my bed is six uh, feet long. So it becomes six feet plus two inch this side, two inch to the other side. So it's a four inch. It's six feet and four inch long. So that means when I put the cover that it's six inch, I have uh, six feet, sorry. I have four inch that miss apart. So I will add uh, 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 a four inch long this side of uh, wood, but this is not a big deal because I will put the tarp on the top, so they will become all, all uh, you know, uh, homogeneous. Uh, what I'm doing now, I will cut four pieces of uh, this piece of wood and I will put here transversal, okay? Because these things will become very, very heavy. Actually, I think I can do three. I put a four, but maybe four is too, too many. Three, there will be enough. So they will give support because, uh, of course, this thing is not, you know, very strong. <laughs> so this will become very, very heavy. I want to put some, you know, su extra support. So there will be a majority. I will never know any problem that can crack and, uh, you know, fail and collapse. So let me cut these things and I will come back. Okay, so the base is complete, okay? That, uh, you see, it's move very well and uh, just easy. So now I'll show you how, when I put the top, we have this four inch extra. You see, I put the top, I, I will screw in a minute here, and we have this gap, okay? I will cover this gap with another little piece of this one. And again, when I put the top on the top, they will be all homogeneous. There will have no any kind of gap and anything. I fix with the, the screw everything on top. You see, I add this little piece that actually it's a little, is, is more than four inch, but uh, I have the, 
the show I will put just linear things. So first thing I wanna um, I wanna fix this because it don't stay by itself. Okay, now I will put the tarp on the top. We will have the same problem that we have here. We had here with the four inch, with the lateral, with the side panel. So we will be four inch short. So when I put the side panel and the side panel here, there will be like four inch of corner that it will not uh, match. So I will add uh, uh, some piece of stuff. I will show you how to fill uh, this gap. Again, don't need to be precise, it's a warm house, it's now a piece of furniture for your living room. Okay, so this is the tarp, it's like that because I already used it for the, for the other things and for the cover everything. So since I use, I'm using this tarp to cover my CNFV being, beans, uh, I, will have, I have a really, really, really almost no problem with the fruit flies. Okay, so let's put these things on the top. So guys, I bought uh, this uh, uh, tarp uh, to IKEA, okay? If you have one IKEA close to your house, go and buy that. They are very, very cheap. I don't remember how much I paid, but they were cheap. And I bought like 10 of these. My wife said, what do you do with the 10 tarps like that? And I say, they are cheap. I always need tarps. And I was right because these tarps are amazing. They are not very, very, very heavy. And this is one, I guess, the reason because they are cheap, but they are beautiful, they are perfect. So, and the fact that they are not heavy actually is a plus. It's what I want. I don't want a very, very heavy tarp. So, and they don't make any sense. So, what I do, I will fix this tarp, okay, on the side. Uh, I don't need to go this space to this side, okay. Oh, that's enough, okay. With this screw, and the washer, like this. So I will put four on the side and the, on the longer side and two on the, on, the, on the smaller side of this. So that's perfect. I will fix the tarp forever, okay? Let's go and fix this. So I fixed the tarp here with the washer. I have this leftover that it's actually perfect because I will use it to cover the, the top. So that uh, worked amazing. So I don't need to cut uh, another tarp, you know? When I don't want to cut a piece of tarp, I don't need that. So this is actually working amazing, all right? So now, the, one of the most difficult part, if you do this by yourself, like me, is put the sides, because the side is a little long. So, you know, to keep the sides uh, with the one hand and the other hand screw is a little difficult. I will try to do uh, in front of you. <laughs> so let me go take the side. I have this, the side, I have the screw, I have the drill. I show you what I was meaning when uh, also on the side we have a gap. Okay, so if you start from the start here, here, let me do this side. Maybe, uh, you see, we have this gap that is four inches. So when I put the side here, okay, we will have this gap. But no problem, I found out the way how to fill this cup. So let me put this side. That will be a little tricky, but I already did. I mean, I'm used, I do everything by myself. Check on one thing. Let me check with you one thing, guy. I want to see if this thing is straight, because if it's not straight, I will have a problem with the corner. So. Oh, luckily it's a perfect straight. That's amazing. Yeah, it's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's straight. I mean. Okay, guys, it's done. 
I mean, it's not done. So I want to show you the, what I, I was talking about, the gap. So this is the gap that I was talking, OK? So how I fill this gap with another piece of wood, like this. So for this, I will use the shorter screw. But I will fill up the gap uh, with this one. So we have a little gap actually here, too, because it's not uh, precise. Uh, I will fill up uh, this gap uh, with uh, this thing, okay? like, like this. Of course, when I go straight, uh, that will be perfect. So the smaller gap I will fill with this one. The bigger gap I will fill with this one. Eventually, if I have to fix with some extra wood, I will fix it. So let me fix everything and I'll show you the final things. OK, one sec. OK, the thing is done. i show you what I talk about a gap. So there was a little gap uh, also on this side. So I put this, OK? This is, was the bigger 4-inch gap. So I fix it in uh, this way, OK? And this is also the middle, the visory, all right? So I put one here in the corner just to fix uh, very well the corner. And uh, I fix it uh, here, this corner, in this way. I make just a, a mistake. I use the long screw. I will take out this long screw I will put the the smaller one. So now, of course, it's uh, very dirty with all this wood. I don't want that this wood will be in the bedding. So I will uh, vacuum everything very, very well. And I will put the worms uh, inside. And now I show you uh, what I'm talking about uh, when I have the, 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 the worms, um, the nursery worms in a big tray. OK, so this is what I'm talking about, OK? Those are my reproduction bean. So if you see, there are a bunch of worms, and there are a lot of adult, uh, uh, juveniles, uh, uh, you know, babies. Um, they are all mixed, and they are not very well organized. So now I want to definitely, you know, organize better. So those worms will go on the newer things that uh, I build them. So you see, I have juveniles. I have, like, uh, this beautiful European adult. OK, some, you see, juveniles and babies. Let me check out one baby. OK, this is just actually the modern baby. Here, baby. Here, baby one. OK, so they are mixed at all the stages. This is not what I want. So what I do now, I will sift all these things. So. I will put all the adults uh, in a reproduction bin. So I will put them to reproduction and all the babies. And I'm pretty sure there are a lot of cocoons here, too. And um, all the babies and the cocoons, they will go on the, on the big things that uh, I just uh, build. Uh, and I have two big trees like this, not one. So I will fill out all the new things I build. You see that? Uh, is absolutely full of things and I need to take these things out. You look how beautiful they are. Yeah, they eat all the food I gave to them. They're just some, what is this? Avocado peel. And they eat everything. I did not feed for uh, like 10 days, uh, maybe more. Yeah, yeah, the only thing is uh, avocado peel and says. Yeah, maybe more because I wanted that they work a little bit more. This uh, bedding, so I can sift uh, and take out uh, all the casting. And whatever is not sifted, we go back on things. Yeah, you see how many babies there are here? A uh, egg, a cocoon. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing. I am working on the reproduction. Hey, look. That's full. There are a lot of stuff here. And uh, I need to be more organized. And this is the way I found uh, to be more organized. OK, guys? So if you like the video, uh, just, uh, of course, like, uh, subscribe, and uh, share. And uh, don't miss it. Uh, we put it down in the comment. Uh, I'm doing a 20% discount on a special collection. It's actually the Thanksgiving and the Black Friday discount, but I decided for appreciation to uh, 
um, to extend uh, for all the, this year, the 2021, this kind of discount. So I will link it down uh, and uh, go and check it out. Thank you, guys. See you next time.